want it bad. For 10-year-old Carrie Juca, beating is more than just a hobby. I like this one a lot because it just kind of has like calming but bright colors that just fulfills you. It's a way to make a difference. Last spring, Carrie suffered from a sinus infection that spread to her brain. For nine days, she was in Children's Hospital, recuperating from brain surgery. In the hospital, I'd just sit in bed, beating and beating and beating, and it just kept me going. Her experience at the hospital was a positive one. There were clowns and storytellers, and the kids could even watch movies. But they had to crowd around a tiny TV in order to watch those movies, and Carrie thought something had to be done. And so that gave me the idea of getting a projector and a screen. And I thought, how am I going to raise that? So I just kept on beating. Her dad set up a website where people could bid on the jewelry Carrie was making. And soon, the money started to roll in. Some people will start it and start at like 25 or something. And then somebody will raise it to 30. Oh, I tend to put the blue, the green, the yellows, golds, and the faded yellows together. Each piece is made entirely by hand. Each bead strong one by one. She's made about 85 necklaces so far. Each one takes her about an hour, but finding the time doesn't seem to be a problem. You can do it listening to music. You can do it even studying. Like You can be reading and beating. It is a lot of work, but Carrie is inspired and sees it as a way to show her appreciation. I really want to keep on going for children's because they were just amazing for me. And help others while she's at it. Erica Simpson, 10 News.